And this, folks, is the most disturbing story involving babysitting. This is Christine Falling, the babysitter killer. One of the world's youngest known serial, serial killers was Christine Falling, who earned the nickname the babysitter killer. Born in Perry, Florida, Falling experienced a very abusive childhood. Her mental instability was apparent from an early age when she started strangling cats and dropping them from high places to see if they would actually have those nine lives. February 25th, 1980, 16-year-old Falling was babysitting a two-year-old girl named Cassidy Johnson when the child was suddenly taken to the doctor's office with brain inflammation. Three days later, Cassidy was dead. An autopsy determined that the child had suffered blunt trauma to the skull, and Falling claimed that she had accidentally fell out of the crib while sleeping. There were suspicions about Falling's story, but unfortunately, they were not properly investigated. Months later, four-year-old Jeffrey Davis died while Falling was babysitting him, and the cause of death was believed to be heart inflammation. While Jeffrey's family attended his funeral, Falling babysat his two-year-old cousin, Joseph Spring. Joseph wound up dying in his crib that day of an apparent viral infection. Falling soon got a job as a housekeeper for 77-year-old William Swindle. Incredibly, Swindle suffered a fatal heart attack during Falling's first day on the job. And shortly thereafter, Falling was watching over her 18-month-old niece, Jennifer Daniels, inside a car while her mother was shopping. The child suddenly stopped breathing and died. Falling's final victim was a 10-week-old Travis Coleman, also who also stopped breathing while she was babysitting him in July of 1982. This time, an autopsy determined that Travis had died of suffocation. Falling was questioned and subsequently confessed to smothering Travis and all the other children who died in her care. She received a life sentence for these murders. <laughs>